why back surgery butts? And I said, I'll just poop myself so you'll have to. <laughs> Hello, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> This is the new show, the new format, and uh, you just saw our first little bump. Uh, what would we call that? I guess an animation. And uh, now you see us. Howdy, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Mike. And I'm Jeff. And we are Bottles and Cans, a show where we drink beer. And tell you what we think. And tonight we have Oktoberfest. Oktoberfest, it's that time of year. It's, yeah. Yeah. You're going to have to drink a German beer here and there. I went to the store and basically just did one of these and grabbed a couple different German beers for today. Which is great. Actually, it worked out. We uh, are one of our, well, a couple of our friends out on Twitter. Ooh, we got new friends. We do. We have a new friend. I'll tell you that about that in a second, though. All right. We, yeah. Some of our friends, though, they uh, they said we should try a couple different beers that you've already seen on the headline, which I guess is down there. Tech, well... It depends. If you're on the website, BACReviews.com, it's up here. If you're on YouTube, it's down there. Um, so we're going to get to those in a bit. But the first one, what is the first beer? I don't know. Yeah, it's a weird... I no don't know Sprechensee to... Deutsch. <laughs> it's got a purple label. I'll give it that. It, I do know that it is a uh, wheat uh, doppelbock. Oh. Um, it is... Uh, Schneider Weiss. Schneider Weiss. Sounds good enough to me. So our new friend. I'll tell you about our new friend on Twitter. Summit Brewery. You know Summit out of St. Saint <laughs> Paul, Saint Paul, Minnesota? Yeah, I love Summit. Yeah, I love their beers. I uh, Especially Saga, their IPA. I drink mm -hmm. that quite often. It's, uh, it's a great beer. Actually, uh, most of their beer is. Um, they are new followers on Twitter. So thank you to Summit Brewing for that. I recently saw a video from them, from their brewmaster, guys from Ireland, and he uh, he talked about all the shitty, uh, cheap beers that I used to procure in high school. Or not beers, but wines. Wines, yeah. Yeah, uh, and how amazed he was with them. <laughs> <laughs> and by amazed, you mean not amazed at all. I don't he, know, um... man. Boone's Farm <clears throat> might have amazed him. Well, that's the, yes, you're right. Irish guy, very nice guy, as far as you can tell from the video, and uh, yeah, it was a pretty funny video. Mmm, this is already smelling challenging to me. Um, is this officially an Oktoberfest beer? Nope. Nope. Just a German. Well, okay. <laughs> I support that anyway. German beer. Uh, it's 8.2 oh. ABV, though. All right. I'll, I'll drink it. It's supposedly Germany's original wheat Doppelbock. Eh, it tastes Doppelbocky. I don't even. What is a Doppelbock? Do you know? Nope. Yeah, Doppelbock. It's um, double. It's a double bock. bock. It sounds right. Eight percent. It might be. That yeah. might be what it. Yeah. Insert Bock here. <laughs> so the reason why Summit Brewing became our friend. To get back to that. They, uh, I actually favorited and commented on a picture, a picture of some of the beers that they had wrapped up, and we'll link to you. We'll link you to that right where Jeff is pointing, right above his head. Right, he's moving it. That's not going to help me later in editing. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, wherever that link just appeared, click on it and check it out. Um, they have a whole palette of beers that they are sending off. Um, not only from Summit, but other, I believe, local breweries, or maybe they're even home brewers. And uh, there there were some good beers in there. I saw they had the Unchained series is in there, hmm. which is their kind of, you know, specialty series, kind of like yeah. the five barrel, five barrel brew system out of Odell. Uh, I'm actually really excited to go see that. That's a perfect segue into our next thing. Guess where we're going to be? That you're not going to be. That you're probably not going to be. You might be, but you're not going to be. If you are going to be there at the Great American Beer Festival in Denver uh, in just about a week, um, find us. Yeah. We'll, we'll find you. you. <laughs> we'll give you a t-shirt. Yeah, we'll try it. Well, as long as we have them left. Yeah. You never so you know. better hurry up and find us. We're not sure how many we're going to get, so. Yeah. Limited edition. 
Uh, <laughs> but Great American Beer Fest is held by the American Home Brewers Association every year in uh, downtown Den Denver at the convention center. And as far as I can tell, it is massive. Like thousands and thousands of people coming together to get little one ounce to two ounce portions of beer. Um, but other from than thousands of brewers, right, right, from from a lot of brew that I if mean, you look at the list of breweries, it's like right. Scrolls. If you drink one ounce from ten thousand breweries, that's still ten thousand ounces. That's still enough to get you where you're going, or not get you <laughs> where you're going. Well, do you want to tell everybody the coolest part about the thing? Okay, we we're let in. Surprisingly enough, we had tickets. We do have tickets to Friday two and of Saturday the events. night. Yeah, they were gracious enough to bless us with media passes to cover the event for our fans. We're media now. <laughs> <laughs> we're not media. But we're, we're media. media. We're media enough. We're media. We're social media. Yeah, we're social media. We're, we're anti social <laughs> social media. We're socially anti social media. <laughs> That's gonna be really fun, though. It's um, we're gonna have we're even gonna have like a, uh, an official uh, filming guy, Vince, our buddy Vince. We got a camera guy. Yeah, our camera guy is gonna be um, well, as long as we can keep him sober, right? He's gonna be we'll awesome. Just name him Tripod. <laughs> tripod. Well, he'll be carrying one. I hope he enjoys that. Um, I don't know if he's aware that he's gonna be a gear bitch kind of a little bit, but Tripod Vince. Tripod Vince. I like it. He has a third leg. I have never confirmed that, but I'm not going to try and confirm that. <laughs> Might as well. The legend. Don't ask, don't the tell. The legend that is Tripod Vince. Hmm. <laughs> Beer pause. Yeah, you know, I don't dislike that. A lot of German beers sort of test me. And I have a trouble with them, but um, this is a little, it's more malty, not bad. It's not, it's not zingy, if you will. I don't know, man. I get a little bit of that wheat. Do you? Yeah, that kind of tart, lemony wheat thing. Yeah, I'll go with that. But I like the I like the roasted kind of malts that come with it, though. Yeah, it is a little bit darker. Tasty stuff. So, us as media, man. Thursday, here's the deal. So, so American or <laughs> the Great American Beer Fest. Starts on Thursday, Thursday night, and then there's another session the next day, Friday, Friday night. night. And then there are two sessions on Saturday, Saturday morning, and then Saturday evening. Right. And we're going to a luncheon on Friday afternoon. Yeah. And we might have something else to go to on Thursday afternoon. So that's that was actually the thing that astounded me the most, is that we... Uh, you know, not only we we figured while we're there, of course we'll go to the breweries, we'll see Odell, uh, we're gonna hit left hand, and then we'll see what else we can get to. Uh, but while we were there, um, as we're media, we got invited to a whole bunch of other media type junkets, if you will. So hopefully we'll be able to meet, meet like Jim Cook, the founder of Sam Adams, and uh, try out their new double IPA, which yeah, I'm really, cool. really excited about that. And we're also gonna be meeting up with. Uh, New Holland <clears throat> Brewery and a specialty kind of thing they came out with in collaboration with Carhartt. Which I was a bit of a hater about when it first when I first heard I about not. this. I was like, fucking Carhartt, they don't Dude, make I love beer. Carhartt, though. Well, okay, I what I would say is I don't even I've no I don't think I've owned a Carhartt product before. Carhartt makes scrubs. Oh, do they? Yeah, and they are like badass i wear scrubs to work every day and i'll tell you this right now like they get tore to shit but i have one pair of carhartt pants and dude they've lasted me years oh huh. well so i i would say they do have a name for making high durability very high quality clothes mm -hmm. and uh you know especially like outdoor gear for construction or hunting or camping or that kind of stuff um, so I'm excited to kind of see what happens with that. I, the reason why I decided to stop hating, even though, um, you know, even though it's a quality product. Haters going to hate. It's true. 
And I did until I realized that almost every single picture I've ever seen of a bunch of brewers standing around, they're always wearing brown and I didn't realize, but they're probably wearing Carhartt. Probably because it's cold as shit where they're at. Right, they're in a cold, uh, you know, well, depending, they're probably in a cold <laughs> or possibly hot. Um, you know, I could see where you gotta, you gotta wear overalls, but um, yeah, you know, it's like, it's perfect. It's perfect workwear for people who are going to be physically mucking about, shoving, you know, shoveling malt and hops and stuff into a big old vat all day. That makes sense. So uh, yeah, we're going to go see New Holland and Carhartt and see uh, one of their new beers that they'll be putting out soon. And hopefully we'll be able to bring you some footage of that along with some of the other footage of all the other stuff. And I think while we're there, if possible, I haven't told Jeff this yet, but I would like to write a few blog posts um, just kind of on what we've seen and maybe more in-depth content than what we're going to be covering here just in our new casual form of this show. We are in beta test mode, folks, if I haven't said that already. Uh, this show is changing a bit because when we first started, we just sort of were winging it. And now we've realized that maybe we should focus on the content that people want to see rather than us telling you every single thing about every single beer. Um, Jeff is already biting, chomping at the bit for the next beer. I'm excited. This this is an Oktoberfest, right? Um, nope. No. This is a Bavarian Double Bock by Anger. It's the Celebrator. I, I, I Anger? I Anger. I don't even know how to pronounce it. No Sprechensi Deutsch. Yeah, it was, <laughs> we are challenged by the names. I do like the, the the bottle on this one, and it comes with a little ram. Because it's shit. Is that how you say it? If you can drink ram's piss, <laughs> you can drink anything. Oh, gam gam. <laughs> Beer Fest, that's an awesome movie. If you haven't seen it, I'm not sure why you're watching us. You should be watching that instead. Very exciting. And you can't pour mine yet because I'm slow. Slacker. It's because I talk too much. <laughs> but to be fair... That's what we're doing here. Mm. That smells good. All right, I'll hurry up. This this one does smell really good. Man, it smells really malty. Were you not concerned about the ghosting of the character of the previous beer? No, I don't give a shit. Yeah, fuck that. This is a good beer. You know, actually, I thought about that before, and I feel like, yeah, if you're going to change, like, styles massively, but really... I mean, we went from a doppelbock. How much more beer is this than what was in there? And Aren't they maybe the same? I mean, I, I would rinse my glass Ooh. out with Bud of Light. That's about all it's good for. This is a lot more kind of malty. Yeah, it kind of reminds me more of like a almost on the verge of a stout yeah. or a porter. It's a little sweet. It's kind of weird, but. That's sort of par for the course. So I'm kind of bummed. I thought we this was an actual Oktoberfest. The guys from, uh, from, um, beer, beer. So it's really sad. I've watched their channel so many times, but I had forgotten, um, who they are. Edit here, Mike. <laughs> I'm going to have to. Oh yeah. Better beer authority. I'm a da jackass for not remembering that. But to be fair, we've been drinking. Eh, that's the way it goes. That's the way that goes, too. So, <laughs> Better Beer Authority actually said we should try the... Einger? 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 We should probably learn how to say that. <sighs> you know, here's the problem. Almost every other beer that we've had, we already knew the brewery. <laughs> These ones, you know... I know the brewery. Just don't know how to say the name. Yeah. They said to try the um, Oktoberfest, which I have tried. Yeah. Um, I bought a bottle of it last week, but I drank it. <laughs> it's the way it goes. We might try and find some others later. Who knows? We do have a break in here. We could probably do that. Oh, another one that's available now that I heard about on Twitter. Flipside Red IPA from Sierra Nevada. Have you tried that? Is it the Red IPA? I assume so. I think. Flipside Red. I think I've had it. I think you've had it too. I think I've had it, but I don't remember it. But it it is out in stores now. I saw it. Oh, okay. It used to be only part of a sampler pack, if I remember right. I wouldn't be surprised. 
That seems to be sort of the way that they do it. They introduce sampler packs with new stuff, and then if it sticks, then they yeah. produce a lot of it. Which, speaking of, I wish they would bring back the Wolf Picker Pale Ale from Odell then. I think we've mentioned that in like the last three episodes. Dude, it was a good pale ale. Wolf it was Picker really was good. really good pale ale from Odell. Well, we can tell them that when we're there. Maybe, yeah. they, maybe they'll let us in they as won't. media. Hmm. You know this is 6.7% alcohol by volume? Well, it's a celebrator. Yeah, it just we're uh, celebrating. Celebrate celebrating Oktoberfest. Celebrator, good times, come on. <laughs> I'm making Rams piss. Yeah, I'm having a hard time. These are. I like this one. I like this one better than last. Really? Uh -huh. I, I thought the last one was kind of fun. I like the more malty, darker beers, though. Yeah, this tastes a lot more bready to me, kind of like. Mm -hmm. But um, yeah, not bad, not bad. So Flipside Red is coming out. Uh, I'm just scrolling through our Twitter. Uh, if you don't follow us on Twitter, you should. And the link's here. <laughs> the link's, yeah, somewhere. It'll be somewhere. <laughs> and it'll keep moving because Jeff's moving. <laughs> uh, oh, I also, I also on Twitter said thank you to you. Because you're he's, welcome to me. Jeff has been a very helpful person when it comes to all of this uh, correspondence with people. I am not a good reacher outer. I'm not a good uh, responder. <laughs> Basically, I don't like people. Um, so I like people. You like people, and yeah. that works out well. It kind of a one-two punch I'm a sort of person. thing. And that's good. We need that. Yeah, I'm lovey and huggy and all sorts of stuff. Well, thanks, buddy. Ah, I need an adult. <laughs> All right, man. I'm going to finish this, but it's going to take me a while. So you want to go to break? Okay. All right. Who the fuck writes a check? Old people. Dude, it's fucking unnecessary. It really is. Like, I would write a check for, like, a car. Yeah. Or, like... Something official. A mortgage. That you Not even a mortgage that you payment. can't put on a credit card or whatever. Like, your initial deposit on a house. You know, I mean, like, not even your mortgage payment do I pay with a check. Mm -hmm. I still fucking just send it through the internet. I don't care. <laughs> fucking stupid. Who fucking writes a check? Just baffling. Old people. Fucking old people. Back again. And, um... Why do people mm. write checks? I don't know. I ain't an Oktoberfest Marzen. Yeah, so we decided... The uh, beer. <laughs> we decided that since we don't actually have an Oktoberfest uh, beer, or didn't have actual Oktoberfest beer because somebody drank it all, we would go get more. And we took advantage of the break, so now here we are, you know, an hour later or whatever. Refreshed and yeah. ready to go. Refreshed and uh, ready to drink. Better Beer Authority, the folks out on Twitter... Said to try this one. This is the Eyinger, and it, it's not autofocus right now, so that's not gonna work. The Eyinger, Eyinger. We don't know how to pronounce that. The A Y I N G E R. Yeah, it's, it's their Eyinger Oktoberfest Martzen beer. So that's what we're gonna try now, and I'm kind of looking forward to it. It comes highly re recommended from a well-known group of guys on on uh, I YouTube. I drank one the other day. I'm looking forward it's to good. it. Well, it's much lighter than the other ones. I support hey. that. Right. <clears throat> so I have an admission. Okay. Are you coming out of the closet? No. Oh. No, I know everyone's been waiting for that. Yeah, one of these <laughs> days. But, uh, no, I'm quite straight. And uh, my admission is that Ish. I'm a little bit afraid of Great American Beer Fest. Why? Well, because it's going to be a big event. Almost nobody knows who we are, so it's not like we have a name. So it's, like, it's not like we can fall far from. <laughs> well, I'll go with that. But, but at the same time, if you're trying to get your name out there, you got to be on point. And I'm not really. I I can speak to people. I can have a good time, but I'm not energized by many people. And I know that that sort of seems to be a theme today. It's okay. We're beta testing the show, so I can be a little bit off, but. I don't know. I feel like it's going to be quite tiring, and I'm also concerned that we might drink too much before we go to our appointments and make fools of ourselves. I don't plan on doing that. Before you drink this, okay. 
Am I, I supposed to smell it? No, I have to tell you, you're not going to like it. Oh, okay. Is it belgian It's euro Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, yeah. It's got that low and brow smell. Hmm. Well, it is lighter. I'll go with that. Not that I have a problem with dark beers, but those last two were a little heavy for me. Mm. Authentic Bavarian Festival Lager. I don't dislike it. No. It's not great, but I don't dislike it. I like it. I like it. <laughs> Actually, I, this is what I would call an Oktoberfest. This is what, when I think of Oktoberfest beer, this is pretty much what I think of. Mm-hmm. It's going to be kind of funky. It's going to be European tasting, but it's going to be lighter and it's going to be kind well, of no, sweet like, and malty. I think some, if not quite a bit of Oktoberfest are brewed early on. Like they're brew, they're they're initially started. Like I think the Marsden, I think that means it's initially started in March. I can see that, and I'm pretty sure that just means that they they tap it at the at Oktoberfest, beginning of October, or the late 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 September September because Oktoberfest I think actually starts in late September, runs through the beginning of October. Well, that would make sense why all of the Oktoberfest beers are out. Yeah. We also are doing a pumpkin beer later. Yeah. Um, we saw it on the back of, well, at least I saw it on the back of a uh, brewer magazine that I get um, after I joined up. Call it out. It's Zymergy. Yeah. Zymergy from. Uh, it's a good magazine yeah, if you're it a home really brewer. Is. In um, fact, if you're a home brewer, speaking of Great American Beer Fest, the folks who put it on, American Home Brewer Association. If you're not a member and you are a home brewer, totally get on that because they have a great website. They have a good uh, magazine and it totally it, it can hook you up with yeah. all of those people who are in that world. You also get weird discounts. That is true. <laughs> Most brew pubs will give you like 10 percent off. Old of food Chicago. Or yeah, that yeah. was weird. I support that chain restaurant gave me a discount on my food. I got to remember that because I forgot last time I was in there. Nice discount, too. But yeah, uh, saw it on the back of the magazine. They mentioned this beer, and uh, it looked interesting. It's by Sam Adams. Yeah, you, they've probably already read that by now, but Fat Jack by Sam Adams. Yeah. I've never actually tried it, so I'm I'm hoping to. I haven't either. It's a shot. double pumpkin, so I'm super excited for that. Hmm, another heavy one. Yeah, that's Ain't all that... right though. It, it'll be good, I think. What's this Oktoberfest? Uh, five point eight. That's not heavy, but it's not. Or not. Nothing to scoff at. There you go. Better than a Bud Light. <laughs> Much better than a Bud Light. Well, good. You, you've you allayed my fears a bit on the um, the Great American Beer Fest. Cause Man, I think how far can we fall? It's true. And, and I think that, yeah, that we can only go up. <laughs> <laughs> I think our last video got like six views. So Yeah, I'm sure three of them were me. And probably two were me. Well, whatever, Thank you man. to the one person out there who's watching yeah. our videos. We appreciate Thank it. Thank you, me, for yeah. watching it three times. <laughs> yeah, we're going to be more one of those bootstrap companies, you know? Pick ourselves up from the bottom and go all the way up. Yeah, much like this episode. We'll figure it out as we go. <laughs> <laughs> or you'll just stop watching and not give a shit. Either way, I don't care. Don't do that. In fact, don't on that, that note, I was going to ask, if you're watching this video... What do you want to see? If are you, if you're going to Beer Fest, let us know and we will hook up with you at some point and see what's going on and maybe we can walk around for a while, maybe do an interview. If you're not, and maybe you've heard about Great American Beer Fest, um, tell us what you'd like to see because we're a couple of great Great American Beer Fest virgins and uh, we're looking to dive into it whole hog. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say. Different, different uh, movement, but yeah, absolutely. So yeah, if there's a, you know, if you want us to focus on beers, if you want us to focus on the experience, if you want us to focus on the awards, because there are a lot of awards, um, we have the option of going to the awards ceremony. We aren't sure if we're going to be able to or not. But. We can speak to the crazy ass dressed people, which I might be one of them. There's some weird people. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm hoping so. I think it'll be fun. I mean, how could uh, drinking a bunch of cool beers not be fun? Really? Right. On the same note, while we're in Denver, we're also going to go to a couple different breweries. Dispenser- oh, yeah. Around, breweries. <laughs> around the Denver area. We're drinkers, um, not smokers. 
So we'll be in, uh, like we said earlier, Odell, the mm-hmm. Mecca for us. Yeah, you we know, talk about um, Odell. The, if the you've Mecca from the stuff. Central Coast. Yeah. You can call it. <laughs> you know um, that we love it. I think there's a Mecca on both coasts and in the middle for us. <laughs> um, but uh, we'll also be going to left hand, hopefully. Yeah. And maybe we'll give you guys a couple shout outs from there as well. I'm really hoping so. Uh, they've been pretty friendly the last time I went to. I've actually been to uh, Odell and Left Hand, and both were pretty friendly with the recording. They didn't seem to care much. So cool. Hopefully, that's uh, that's going to be part of the videos. I hope you know that you're going to be doing some editing. We're going to have a lot of video to chunk. I get to learn. It's going to be fun. I'm bringing an extra laptop. We'll get it done. Thankfully, this new format of our show is going to be less intensive. So um, hopefully we'll be able to do some wrap-ups too, maybe, like uh, at the end of the day. Maybe at the beginning of the next morning because, well, you know, beer fest. On the other hand, as media, on Saturday and Thursday before that, we won't really be able to get super trashed because we're media. I don't think that applies to social media. (laughs) You've seen uh, Fear and Loathing in Las Vegas, right? It'll be like that without all of the other stuff in the suitcase. Maybe. We'll see. (laughs) Or I might have a mental breakdown trying to keep track of all of my gear and the shots that we need. That might also happen. Or we could just put LSD in Mike's drink. Whoa, man. Is that legal there? That's, everything seems to be legal there at this point, right? I don't think that's legal any. <laughs> think, anywhere. Anywhere. I think you're probably right. Don't do LSD. Yeah, don't do LSD. And if you do LSD, let us know how you feel <laughs> while you watch our show. Uh, I, w- I don't know if that would be good. I don't care. Never tried, so I wouldn't know. Well, good stuff. What's our next beer, man? It's about time. It is about time. We doing the fat jack now? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, it's about time. Pumpkin beer time. <laughs> Wait a minute. There's such a thing called continuity in videos that you're supposed to whatever. Everyone ignore that hat. I dig it. It's a good Oktoberfest hat. That's where I got it. Yeah. You've been to Oktoberfest, like the real one. No. I got it in Munich. Liar. Munich. Well, okay. From the right place, yeah. right? Yeah. Or München. München. That's easier to say than Einger. <laughs> oh, boy. Is it pumpkin-y? Oh, my God. I'm guessing it's going to be pumpkin-y and alcohol It smells like a sweet potato. Ooh. I might not like it at all. This rich and luscious brew indulges a flavor with over 28 pounds of pumpkin per barrel. Holy shit. God damn it. (laughs) That might be good. It might taste like Thanksgiving. Who's Thanksgiving? Uh, It's my gay lover. (laughs) That was a weird comment. (laughs) It, it was, it was trying to be closet. a callback to earlier. It was just really awkward. Mike came out of the closet. <laughs> yeah, back to the dark stuff. <sighs> Woof. Actually, oh, it kind of smells like the Celebrator. Nah, but, man. Not the Celebrator. What was the first one? Zweisenbeer's Schneider Weiss. Weiss. At least we can pronounce this one. G. Schneider and Sean. Sean and Sean. S-O-H-N. Oh, shit. So, fuck you. All right. I said it right. I just thought you were slurring. We've had enough higher (laughs) gravity beers that... uh... Yeah, what's this one? It's a 8.5% ABV. Jesus Christ. Eh, It's got a cool label. It does have a cool label. I, I, I like the little fat pumpkin man on it. And he looks a little angry. Yeah. So the plan is now, uh, we don't do the poor cam anymore. I know I actually knew a couple people at uh, work who had seen the videos who mentioned that they like the poor cam. 
But it was such a pain to sync up the video that I'm just going to start showing pictures of the bottles when we talk about them. I think that'll work. I mean, these people have already seen it, but I'm just telling you because we're making this up as we go. Let us know what you think. Yeah, yeah. Does it really piss you off? Do you want the poor cam back? If so, let us know. You want it back. You know you do. <laughs> you know you're going to push for it to come back, and I'm going to ask you to start editing the poor cam in. I'll just send you the whole vid- the whole video file. I work two full-time jobs. We'll just never have another post again. That's a possibility. Wouldn't that be so sad? You know, you know we are at? This would be our 30th episode. Or, sorry, 50th episode. Really? Yeah. Maybe? Maybe it's 30th. Now I'm even getting confused. And we're going to switch it up now, huh? <laughs> well, Oof. we switched it up once already. Because yeah. we went to video, remember? And then we changed the video. Because we went from the GoPro to the real camera. I mean, we've... we've it's a constant yeah, evolution. we've made a lot. Of, yeah. We've evolved. <sighs> Another Darwin's birthday. beer drinkers. Also, if the belching is annoying to you, first, I want to say get over it. But second, because we're social media, we want to hear about it. <laughs> yeah, 30th ha- episode. Hashtag uh, stop burping in the microphone, man. <laughs> That'll be our 30th episode because the last one was 29, the hipster rhino and uh, Wisconsin. Oh, yeah. Those were interesting beers. They were interesting beers. Not the hipster ale. No. That was the first beer we both rated a one that out of five. That was bad. By the way, if you're wondering where the reviews are, those are coming up at the end. Just to yep. let you know. We're still doing those because we're a beer show. Yeah. You so can't not review a beer. We have to tell you what we think. Yeah. <laughs> and tell you what we think about the beer. It is fun, though. If you are an untapped user... First of all, good for you. If you're not, you should be. If you're bothering to watch this, you already like beer enough that you should be one. And then you can play along with us. Maybe you're trying these beers out yourself or have tried them before. You can rate them on Untapped just as we will in a bit. And see where you stack up to what we think. Yeah. What do you think about... Uh, how did you feel about our beer brewing video, our first beer brewing video? The What's in a beer oh, kit? What's in a beer kit? Yeah. yeah. You know... I think uh, yeah, I think it went well. You know, let us know what you think. Yeah, we're just gonna keep calling Post that here. Post, Post there. Here. Right Post here. here. Over there. Post down here. <laughs> Whatever, man. Tell me what you think. Get all to me somehow. If you got questions about that kind of stuff, though, let us know. We'll gladly go over all this kind of stuff. Yeah, with we're you. looking for literally any excuse to do anything on this show that yes. somebody has asked us. So. In fact, in maybe a week or so, I'm gonna show you guys how to build a keg fridge. I totally can't wait for that. It's actually right behind the camera, but we can't show you that. I just picked the new refrigerator up today and uh, moved it into my house by myself. That sucked. It's not like you've had back injuries in the past yeah, or anything. Yeah, I haven't had two back surgeries at all. <laughs> no, never. You're gunning for a third. Yeah, you know, third time's charm. So, uh, yeah, this time, you know, and there's multiple ways to do it and we're going to, I'm going to go over a whole bunch of stuff with you guys. So it'll be an interesting show as well. Stay tuned. Stay tuned for that or whatever you do. Just click the next one and watch it. You know, there's not a lot of pumpkin to this. I mean, there's pumpkin flavor, but it's not to bring it back to the beer, but, um, there's a lot of malt. Yeah. Yeah. It's kind of a weird... Maybe that's the pumpkin. There's a weird flavor to it, but I don't really dislike it. I've had some pumpkin beers where they are just in your face, like can't handle it. There's some smell about this beer that reminds me of old lady. Yeah, kind of that old lady perfume that maybe has gone bad. Maybe like old lady makeup bag. We've said that before in a previous episode. Oh, foreshadowing, past shadowing. There's some shadowing there. Callback. I think it's called a callback. Me and the lingo, you know. It's really sweet. Yeah, it is. This is not like, okay, so when I saw it at first, I was like, dude, pumpkin, cool. 
sometimes I don't mind those pumpkin spice lattes that come back every fall and every chick on Facebook and Twitter is like, hashtag yay pumpkin spice latte from wherever the fuck I get my coffee from in the morning. And I'm like, nope. Yeah. Hashtag don't do that again, please. I sort of agree with you. There, there, there is a weird like following. It's not even a following. It's just, it's a people are people them. are too excited no. about it. Yeah, no, I don't mind it. And in fact, it's um, not the McRib. Let's just say that it's not the McRib. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you for me getting excited about the McRib every year. That is my favorite thing. Shut the fuck up. I love McRib. Shut up. <laughs> Hashtag. Stop Are you going to be the guy who's hashtagging? Yeah, okay, thank you. Um, <laughs> no, actually, I had a, uh, I posted something to somewhere, and uh, a friend of my family, real great guy, made me the recipe that I posted that I said just want. I actually posted it to my wife, and I was like, make this, please. <laughs> Get in the kitchen and don't do what I ask, because that's not how our relationship <laughs> works. But... She's a free spirit. Very much. And so this other guy saw it, and he's a friend of the family. He said, dude, I will make those. And they were pumpkin caramel cookies. And, dude, they were amazing. You didn't save one for me. Actually, I did. Oh, nice. You ready for them? I, if you got them. Yeah, buddy. Why not? It is the right time. The, the pumpkin. You know what we... We should have gotten the pump kick. That's all over the internet right now. Have you heard of that one? Yeah, I've heard about it. That's one. That one is from New Belgium. And, um, you know, they're a good company. They've gotten really big, which is a little concerning. But they still put out a good quality product. And they put out Rampant IPA, which we've said many times is pretty much the cheapest, best beer for the alcohol content that you can get. <laughs> Rampant is the cheapest double IPA that you can pick up. And it's good. Yeah. And I got nothing bad to say about New Belgium. Not one bad thing. So, Mike Dressler, thank you for making me the pumpkin caramel cookies. There's so much caramel in them, they're soggy. Yeah, they're a little damp. I'm not saying that's a bad thing. Oh, holy crap. It's like a coffee cake. Mm, it's super good. It's tasty. And you know what? I bet it goes with this. It goes really well with this, I'm sure. Yeah. Holy shit. Mike, whoever you were, I support you. Oh, that's good. That's super good. Beer. That was our first official beer pairing on yeah. bottles and cans. Beer pairing. Fat Jack from Sam Adams and Mike Dressler's Pumpkin Caramel Cookies. You know, I don't know if you know Mike Dressler, but if he makes you pumpkin caramel cookies, you should probably know him. <laughs> I just realized that this is our second beer pairing because there was one time when you pulled out the smoky cheese. Yeah, smoked Gouda. Mm. So we will post the recipe As I go off to now. these cookies here. Oh, God. <laughs> this is going to take forever to edit. Nah. I'm going to try and put this up tomorrow, man. I'll help. Right. Kind of. I put it up on... You know what I got to stop doing? Should we Should we say right now that we are going to start like putting up these episodes on a regular day? I feel like we should. We'll put them up on a day. I'll go with that. Another thing to edit in. How about how about we say we'll put up uh, like BAC brews on Monday, and then a bottles and cans reviews BAC reviews on Thursday, because those are the two days where our website gets hit the most. Does that mean that we have to brew once a week? No, because brews goes into all sorts of stuff. We can talk about yeasts. We can talk about. Cool. How to open a keg. Yeast. Let me tell you about that. Let's, Let's not get into that out. right now. <laughs> <laughs> this is marked Woo. explicit, by the way, for a reason. Yeast. <laughs> <laughs> All right, man. Thanks, Mike. 
I also got the Great American Beer Fest app. To get back to that. Really? Yeah. Here's my here's my beef with it. Are you ready for my beef? Yeah, because I've not seen the app yet. In order to use it, you have to go vertical. Oh, I don't care about that. Oh, it, it bothers me. Oh, too bad. <laughs> so they do say it's made for a phone. But yeah, that's why I don't care. So what all does it cover? Uh, it has like everything. It's going to have breweries, your beers, and I think you're going to be able to, you know, it's not out there yet, but you'll be able to rate it and like make notes and stuff. Can I link it to my untapped? I don't know, but you should be able to. If they don't have that, then I, I it would make me sad. Oh shit, they already have them. They have, <laughs> this is, we told you earlier that there are so many, I got cookie all over my hands. There are so many breweries. You just scroll and scroll and oh, scroll. Jesus. There are a shit, like it's flipping by fast. There are a shit ton of breweries that are going to be there. And they're actually bringing brewers. There have been a couple people that we've been in contact with that who, who have invited us out to their booth. We've said, yeah, come by, especially early in the morning. The brewers will be there. The marketing people will be there. It's like, you know, awesome. I can't wait to meet all There's a lot to say people. for that. And I'm going to get in my soapbox a little bit, but. Preach away, brother. Yeah, you know, amen. We went to this oh. beer festival and amen. There was a lot of beers and amen. They uh, didn't give us a lot of information. Amen. And uh, it just really pissed me off. Amen. Yeah, lack of brewers at a beer fest is pretty much like the worst thing you can do. We got no information from nobody, no know how, no nothing. But actually, worse than that was that even the people who were pouring it had Hadn't no had the clue. Beer. Yeah, they're like, oh, yeah, I should probably try this. Or like, there was one guy, yeah, I don't drink IPAs. As he's like pouring out an IPA, I'm like, I don't, I don't even know you, man. Yeah, what, why are you here? What happened to this thing? But this won't have that issue at all. No, I'm really excited about this one because the first time I went to this beer festival in Omaha, you know, there was people there who I could talk to, man, you know, what's what's going on with this beer? What'd you do? What hat, you know, what have you? And, and they gave me a lot of really good information. And, you know, as a home brewer on the side, you know. Yeah, when you have a, a like general idea of how beer is made, you've got a little bit more, you know, you, you want to question, you want to say like, Hey man, are these all whole leaf hops or is this just an extract or what did you do? If you have a brewer there, they'll be able to answer that. But if the person hasn't even tried it, that's pouring it, like that's... And they're a volunteer that doesn't know shit about beer anyway. It's really disheartening when you walk up to a booth all excited to try a beer or to tell the person, oh my God, this is my favorite beer. And they're like, I, I, don't, I don't know what you're talking about. It's like, ugh. Wah, no. wah, wah. Yeah. Makes me sad on the inside. But, you know, I don't think the Great American Beer Festival will have that issue. Mm -mm. And part of the reason I don't think that is because it's the Great right. American Beer Festival. Well, it's hosted, I mean, it's it's put on by the good people the, at the AHA. So you know that they're going to bring a lot of the brewers out. And that's really awesome. I'm thinking, man, that we, uh, we're getting near our end here. Yeah. Is there anything else you want to say? No. No. <laughs> have you... This has been a pretty good beta test of the new format, I think. It kind of actually reminds me of some of our first episodes. Right. Back before we even included video. Yeah. Back when we enjoyed talking to each other rather than trying really hard to tell you everything about the beer. So, yeah, I've, I've had a lot more fun. It doesn't hurt that the alcohol has been plentiful. No. <laughs> that never hurts. So, uh, what'd you think about the uh, Schneider Weiss? Yeah, on to the reviews. Again, we're using untapped one through five and half increments. Um, you know, I actually really enjoyed that one. I thought it was quite good for, <laughs> I was imagining crazy Euro beer, and it wasn't as, as much. Um, I think if I were to give it a rating, I would probably give it a four. For its style and for how much I generally like that style, it was a good one. Okay. Yes. Yeah. Four. I figured you'd come along. Well, you know, a wheat, a Doppelbach. I've had a few of those. This one was actually pretty pleasant. So, yeah. Yeah, I'll give it a four. What was the next? The Celebrator from I. Celebrator Ingr from I. Say the name. Ingr <laughs> I, you liked that one more. I was not as much a fan. I would probably put that at a three for me. Finest Bavarian Double Bach. 
Yeah. I dug it. I'm going to give it a four and a half. For a double Bach, I really liked it. Um, everything I like about dark beers yeah. is there. Yeah. Sounds good to me. <clears throat> now, our friends at the uh, Better Beer Authority. The Anger October, October Fest, Fest. Martin. Uh, you know, uh, struggled with it a bit, but really not bad. Again, for the style, I again, I'll go another three and a half. <laughs> you know, I'm going to go ahead and go with a four. Um, for a Bavarian Festival, Martin, Oktoberfest, Lager. I actually really like this one. Um, some of the Euro hops that I kind of... Uh, some of those noble hops. Yeah, I get a little bit of excited about, you mm-hmm. know, uh, the kind of skunky stuff that people kind of shy away from. <laughs> I uh, I got a soft spot for them, mm. you know, I really do. So I'll give it a four. And the final Fat Jack. Fat Jack pumpkin, uh, double pumpkin. Uh, oh, shit, you know. I'll give it for I I haven't had a double pumpkin so far. Fair enough. I was I especially with the cookie, I will give it a four and a half. Yeah, I think if you pair it with something sweet, mm-hmm. you're gonna enjoy it a little bit more. Sweet and those um you know, the pumpkin type spices, the what is yeah. it? Sage? Nutmeg. Nutmeg, yeah. Nutmeg, ginger, those kind of spices. Mm-hmm. Pie. Yeah, it's it, it, Kind of tastes like an apple pie or a uh, pumpkin pie. Fuck. We talked too long. Something happened and I read it. Movie recording has been we got, stopped. We went over 30 minutes. Oh. Yeah. All right, a little bit of a snafu there. I just rated the Fat Jack um, at a four, to, four and a half. And we were saying that you should... Pair it with something sweet, and it yeah. tastes like a pumpkin pie. Yeah. Definitely a lot of pumpkin pie from that uh, when you pair it properly. Hmm. All right, ladies and gentlemen, thanks for watching this new improved episode of Bottles and Cans. We'll see you next time. Check us out at BACReviews.com, and be ready for an onslaught of content from the Great American Beer Fest, which we cannot shut up about because we're going in a week, and I can't fucking wait. Yeah. Yeah, you're not going. And if you are, dude, come find me. Yeah, find us. I bought a shitload of shirts to give out to people. We will hang out and it will be fun. Yeah, I'll I'll buy you stuff. <laughs> Maybe. Cheers. Uh, oh i also i also on twitter said thank you to you because you're welcome to me jeff has been a very helpful person when it comes to all of this uh correspondence with people i am not a good reacher outer i'm not a good uh responder (laughs) basically i don't like people um so i like people you like people and that works out well kind of a one-two punch sort of thing and that's good. We need that. Yeah, I'm lovey and huggy and all sorts of stuff. Well, thanks, buddy. <laughs> ah, I need an adult. All right, man. 
I'm going to finish this, but it's going to take me a while. So we want to go to break. Okay. All right. Awesome. That's good enough. <laughs> Reaching a little bit there, some parts, but we're doing good. I thought that was kind of fun. Yeah, dude, I really think I like this one better. Do you? Yeah. I like the first one better. Well, you know me, though. I, I, I really like my dark beers. I made a wine. Really? Yeah. Dude, I was like, this cannot be that hard. I brew a wine. Fermented a wine. How did it work? Made a wine. Uh, it was a little tart, so I back sweetened, added in a slice, oh, like a quarter slice of lemon, and the oak aged essence, and like an eighth of a vanilla bean. Isn't that kind of cheating? No, I don't think so, considering I use Welch's. <laughs> You're making your own Mad Dog 2020. Yeah, boy! <laughs> oh, we should be recording this. I can say that again. That's don't true. Don't bother me, none. Yeah, bring that up, that you brewed a wine, or made a wine. You should, you should say brewed a wine, and then I'll ask you, brewed? You're like made, Fermented. fucking whatever, yeah. That's kind of how we interact. Yeah, I'm cool with that. <laughs> I don't know how much we actually finished on the uh, explaining beer fest, but that's okay. We'll respond. We'll. I think we talk a bit more. Went over quite a bit. My admission. Oh. Okay. Um, do you want to go grab the few Oktoberfests? I guess if we're going to do it, we should do it now. Yeah. Um, yeah. Let's see, we can do that. Okay. How do you feel about driving? No, oh, fine. Yeah. I would offer, but I have so much shit in my front seat. Well, you better fix that before we leave. I know, I will. Actually, I'm taking it into the shop on Monday. started drinking, but now I realize that it's just sort of German beer. <laughs> <laughs> 